there's only three things that you got to focus on if you want to become truly impactful as a change maker and activist in this world. Hey friends, my name is June, June Fuchs. And before we dive into those three things, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Appreciate it. The first thing I need you to focus on is finding your zone of brilliance. I very often talk about this, for example, in my free mini book, you can get a copy down below. I've linked it in the description. And the zone of brilliance is where you, with your uniqueness, your talent, and your charisma can shine most. Now, a lot of us think activists, those are people on the street doing very extreme, very radical, very empowered things. But it doesn't always look like that. Activism has many different ways or shapes. For example, online, blogging, YouTubing, growing vegan businesses is also a kind of activism. If you are writing for a magazine, if you're writing online or offline, if you're just speaking to your friends and family about the topics at hand and that are important to be talked about, such as veganism, environmentalism, human rights, etc., that's also ways of doing activism. So make sure you find your zone of brilliance. For example, I studied graphic design. A part of my zone of brilliance is to create really impactful visual designs for vegan brands and companies. This is one thing that I do next to my life coaching business, for example. And that's another way to use my skills and talents to drive forward the momentum and the impact that the movement that I'm supporting needs and deserves. So find your zone of brilliance, use your skills and your uniqueness to drive impact into the world. The second thing is to maintain your mental health. There is nothing less impactful than an activist that burns out. We've had a couple of examples, including myself. I've burned out in the past. There's a couple of really big names in the activism scene that have retreated themselves from their activities as an activist simply because they burned out. They didn't learn how to take care of their own mental health. And it's really important that you learn how to take care of your mental health. Because as an activist in this world, you're consistently facing the draining debates and conversations. You're exposing yourself to things that can drain your mental health. So having a self-care and a mental health routine, practices, whatever it is, you know, if it's yoga, meditation, breath work, ecstatic dance, whatever it is that makes you feel good in your mind, you got to practice that consistently. Because if not, you're going to drop out. You're not going to maintain your mental health as you are driving impact into the world. So make sure to generate a self-care routine to find practices that help you keep your mind sane. And if you struggle with that, I'll leave you with the link down there. I have a course, it's called Mental Health Mastery, and it will teach you all the foundational tools and skills you need to keep a healthy mind. Check it out. And the third thing you need in order to stay active as an activist in this world is community. You got to be part of a community that you feel home in. You got to be part of a tribe. So if you're just following people on Facebook or social media and you're commenting their posts here and there, that's not being part of a community. Even Facebook groups very often aren't hosted with the intention to create a momentum, an elevation in the community. Mine is, I'll leave you with the link to my Facebook group down below as well. It's called Mindful Vegan Community. Yet most of these online free accessible communities, they don't really elevate you and they don't really connect you with the people you need to be connected with to feel home and feel part of a family, of a community. If you're lacking that, check out my Facebook group. And if you really want to be part of a driven and elevated community, I'm running a monthly membership program called the Mindful Vegan Membership. It's exclusively for vegan activists at this moment in time. And as a member, you get to join two times a month virtual events. You get to be part of an elevated and mindful community that is really caring for oneself and one another. If that interests you, I'll leave you with the link in the description below as well. Go ahead and check it out. So let's wrap up those three things. Thing number one, find your zone of brilliance. Number two, take care of your mental health properly. And number three, Become part or stay part of a community. Choose wisely, my love. A community that elevates you and supports you in your journey to create a better world. So those are the three things. 
Thanks for watching, my love. If you liked, like down below, comment which one of these three you haven't really thought of yet before, and also subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate that, my love.